Um, another thing too about machine learning and, and studios in general, when it comes down to audiences, we obviously we talked about having a better target for audiences, but can we talk a little bit about forecasting revenue in real time because of machine learning? Exactly. So I think um, this is part of our part of our system and something that we, we we spend a lot of time on to develop and help sort of executives, film professionals early on understand the value of their package. Because oftentimes um, when you go out as a film producer, film production is a very long process. And you know, if, if you're you know spending two or three years with a certain product, you have to love it. And you're always very biased. You do? No, <laughs> that this is the best kind of thing ever. Your film's going to win. Yes. You already were nominated yeah, for the always. Emmy, but it's going to win the Oscar. It's going to be the best thing ever. I've but only worked on award-winning stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Just like everybody in the room. <laughs> And that's kind of, and th that that can somehow, you know, obviously narrow your your view of things. And using technology and machine learning algorithms can help understand the real value, in the commercial sense of that project, and understand what what budget is actually realistic. My line producer tells me the budget is what are 15 million for this uh, uh, drama film that w w with certain um, characteristics. But then, realistically, our system can then help you identify that you know that kind of the, this, this is the market, this is the market size, this, this is how you can target the market. But also, you might try to have to bring the budget down to eight million to break even the investor's money. And this is kind of financial ma modeling always existed, but nowadays, what we can offer, for example, is we have integrated in our project management system. There is a financial model that you can model out films in a traditional way, in different ways, sales based and with waterfalls. But then before that is a predictive module. And here you can just profile your film and it gives you revenue predictions based on cast, you know, genres. We have certain criteria that if you select, and then it can give you a, a risk weighted profile and can tell you there's a 90% chance this scenario holds true. So we give you, we know that three years out, you cannot predict that number. It's impossible. But what we can do three years out is give you a realistic assessment of the bandwidth of what that release could look like. This is kind of the space you behave. And the, the highest chance is here, but these are the these, this is the bandwidth of what it can do. Yeah, yeah it's success based on information. Yeah. Exactly. So Much it's not about who you know, who you've, who you've known, and all of a sudden you don't have that fear of like, oh my gosh, I don't know enough people, so I'm Will not gonna be able to make successful? it. Yeah. 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 It's kind of like when you know we used to get mixtapes from somebody who had a crush on us, you know, because I got <laughs> a lot of those. I probably I've made way more than I, I got, I'm but you know, like. And you, you, you just hoped that that was going to be successful. Well, now we listen to music with an algorithm. You know, you put your favorite couple artists into Pandora, and, and Pandora makes you the best, you know, mixtape that any man or woman ever made you. It's that exact, you know, like, that's what we're talking about here. I mean, that's how people consume music now. You know, the computer decides, like, you don't decide really anymore. I mean, and, a lot and, of people. And in the film space, it's kind of... It is, I guess, I'm st we're still at the point where their AI wouldn't make any decisions. So it's literally just a tool that gives you another opinion at this yeah. point. So you as a producer can ignore it if you want to, or you can use it. And I think a lot of people, especially in the film industry, are very, very uh, careful or with technologies, they feel it might impede the creative process. But being a creative producer myself and, and, and my other co-founder is also a creative producer, um, we, we try to uh, make people understand that using technology in the right way, not just making having it make decisions for you, but using it in addition yes. to your gut feel, that's really a very powerful combination. Very then, important point. And then you can really um, create a product that has the creative, because story is still key. You cannot make take a bad story and use technology to make it work. It doesn't work. But if you have some a people story, think you can. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I'm sure we've run into that. Yeah, it's true. Sorry. That's true. No, it's absolutely <laughs>